How's it going guys? Welcome back to another Destiny 2 video. If you check the comment section, the post section in my YouTube channel, you'll find all the recipes that you're looking for. If you look in the description below, you'll also find a link to Reddit where all the recipes and items that are required for the dawning event are listed. So with that out the way, my thoughts on the dawning event. Last year, the dawning event was pretty much the biggest disaster in the history of Destiny 2. It was worse than the House of Wolves when no raid was announced. It was so bad that Bungie's complete Christmas was ruined with the Remove Eververse campaign. So how did it change this year? This year, they have made the dawning event, in my opinion, the best Destiny 2 event, period. It is literally the best event that they've done and the fairest and funnest event that they've had for quite some time. The original quest doesn't take long at all and immediately you get awarded your avalanche, a heavy machine gun which is nothing special but it is a rare item that you get to keep. After this using Eva's oven you need to go around and bake items and give them out just like you did last year with the gifts to the NPCs. Be it Zavala, Ikora, Rahul, you name it, it's there. The only person, surprisingly, that didn't get anything was was Brother Vance and Osiris, which is weird. I mean, it would have been nice if we could just toss it into the Infinite Forest and get a thank you note returned. That would have been kind of cool, but I guess development times and whatnot and restrictions. With that said, the event itself is amazingly done. Everything around you is done in such a way that it's actually fun to do. It gets you playing with different weapons and different styles, different supers, and it's forcing you to do stuff that outside of your norm. So how does it work? Well, basically you go around killing stuff. Fallen, Taken, Cabal, Scorn. Everything you kill drops a common item related to the species. On top of this, you get rare components. Now these are tied to the actual super element and the weapon type you're on. So if you're using a heavy machine gun or an auto rifle, you'll get bullet spray rare ingredient. If you get headshots, you get precision taste and so forth. So they're pretty intuitive in terms of naming. Light infusion is pretty much your orbs of light. You need to generate them in order to get them. It's actually a fun way of doing things and it gets you going out. Eva has her bounties. You have a bunch of triumphs to do. Along the way, you get an exotic sparrow. Now, a lot of the perks on this, in fact, all of them are locked. So in order to unlock these, you go to Amanda and she'll give you three bounties. Each bounty unlocks a perk. Now, at first you look at it and you're like, oh my God, this is ridiculous. How the hell am I gonna do all this? But what you don't realize is those 120 recipes, those items that it's asking you to cook, really isn't that much. Yes, the essence that you're required to use is 15 essence per cooking. If you masterwork the oven, that drops it down to 10. You get essence pretty much anywhere, doing patrols, doing public events, crucible, gambit, nightfall. Anything you do will reward you with essence. The harder the content, the more essence you get. Nightfall gives you 33 essence. Gambit gives you 22 or 25, and strikes give you 17. But in theory, you could just hop from Lost Sector to Public Event to Lost Sector to Public Event and just collect them that way as well. Public Events give you five Essence. So there's no shortage of supply when it comes to Essence and the materials themselves, as you play the game, you'll be accruing a metric ton of them. If you do the Blind World this week, you will get so many Hive items that it's ridiculous. All you need at that point is to go out and use a particular weapon that will give you the rare ingredient and the essences will be there anyway for you to make them. It's not even been a week and I've not really been farming at all. I've just been playing the game leisurely and basically just for entertainment purposes and I'm already at 80 plus handed in. One thing to note, Zer is one of the people that you do need to give a treat to so keep this in mind when you're going to hand them in it's worth getting these in first as soon as you can so you don't miss him as he is a timed NPC. But all in all, I think the dawning event has been a massive success. I've really enjoyed it. I've really 
found it thoroughly in entertaining. You get two powerful engrams to assist you along the way. So I do hope Eva actually does stay because those powerful engrams are very handy and very useful. So Bungie, thank you very much for delivering and improving tenfold on last year's event. So what I will say now is that this dawning event is now the benchmark that I want Bungie to go from. The event itself is awesome, it's rewarding, it's fun, and you actually get rewarded as you play. You don't have to go out your way, you're getting rewarded while you're doing your milestones, your challenges, your bounties, everything you do, you're getting rewarded for. Some of the bounties from EVA are actually laboursome, like killing 100 Cabal, but you only need to essentially do these until you get your 40 bounties complete. And once you've done that, you get the triumph and I don't really think you'll actually need to do them anymore because you're getting so much of these ingredients in the open world. Now Eververse does sell the ingredients. Yes, you heard that right, it does, but it doesn't sell the essence. And without the essence, they are completely useless. So they did keep the key ingredient that you get from Nightfall, Strikes, Crucible, you name it, Gambit, from the Eververse store in order to get people and force them to go into the game and not be able to buy everything. The final thing that I will say regarding the Dawning event, which I hope now becomes a unilateral thing for Destiny, is the fact that the bounties for Warlock, Titan and Hunter on all three of my account characters are shared. What I do on my Titan the progress is shared onto my hunter. The progress I do for my hunter is shared between the other two. So when I complete the bounty, the exotic sparrow on one character, it will be complete for all. This is the type of thing Bungie you need to do. The breakneck, the loaded question should have all been like this. The lunar's howl, the mountaintop, everything should have been like this. I know the mountaintop is, but everything going forward from this day should be like this. This is now the new benchmark of excellence that you've established and I really hope that you listen to this and take the praise where it's due because this event has been fantastic and I've really enjoyed it and I do encourage every Guardian out there who has been on the fence about coming back, come back for this event, it's really fun. If nothing else, this is the perfect time to give Destiny 2 another chance. The Forges are fun. The event is fun, come back, and uh, hopefully I'll see you around the planets at some point. Well, that's my impression of the dawning, thumbs up from me, great job Bungie, and until next time Guardians, remain legend. <laughs>